come on. Like, what is that? They're very funky, but I just feel like a giant ruffle. This is very snug. We're just gonna... What's up guys? How's it going? Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am going to be testing out another one brand clothing haul. As you can tell from the title today, I'm going to be testing out Shein. Now Shein is a brand I have seen all over the place. I've seen so many people do hauls from them. And funny story, I actually remember Shein before they rebranded. They used to be called Shein Side. They actually got in contact with me when I first started my channel like three or four years ago and they offered me some free clothes to do a lookbook in. This was honestly the first brand that ever reached out to me which is kind of special to me because I remember receiving like a bunch of free clothes and although they weren't really the best quality I was kind of over the moon about it so with this video I kind of wanted to see if they improved the quality of their clothes so I went and spent 300 pounds on this website I know I honestly don't know why I keep spending money but I did this for the purpose of this video so don't judge me so this is the box that everything came in it's quite a hefty and heavy box I have to say so the ship Shipping for this probably was around two weeks. It actually was a longer than what I expected because on the website it said, I think maybe between five to seven days that everything would arrive in. If you guys are brand new here, make sure you come and join the dinosaur family by subscribing down below, you know you want to. And also don't forget to click the notification bell button to stay notified of every time I post a new video because YouTube messes up a lot. But anyways, without further ado, let's get on into the video. Okay, so here I have the first item that I'm gonna be testing out now this is kind of like a two-piece set this cost me 12 pounds 40 and honestly I've been seeing this like advertised on Instagram all sorts of different social media so I just had to get this and I love the print I'm just hoping this isn't gonna be too short for me so let's try it on and see how it looks oh my god I am actually in love with this look how cute that looks this is just so summery it literally fits perfectly it's not too short I actually thought this would be a little bit short and a little bit too tight but honestly it fits like a glove I actually love this little play set I have to say the material feels a little bit on like the cheaper side but it honestly doesn't look it at all like on camera as I'm looking at it now it just looks really really good it's very like lightweight so this would be perfect for like a really hot summer's holiday I'm gonna give this one a thumbs up but now the next outfit I'm gonna try on is this so the first thing I have is this little top which looks like this it's very very cute it's very dainty and like I don't know, I just really liked it. And then I also picked up these pants, which are kind of daring, I have to say. When I saw this on the website, it definitely looked out there, but I didn't think it would be as out there as it does in person. I honestly don't know if I'm gonna be able to pull these off, but let's try it on and see. Okay, in my mind, <laughs> I thought this was gonna look so cute, but this is just what it looks like. I feel like the top is quite cute. It is a little bit on the loose side. This bit here should have been a little bit more like secure, but these trousers <laughs> don't even get me started. I love trying new things that I usually wouldn't wear, but this is just a little bit too far, I think. However, I can do this, which is quite fun. They're very funky, but I just feel like a giant ruffle. Okay, so this is the next outfit, and I just thought I'd show you guys as I'm trying to put this on, because this button will literally not go through the hole. Like, the seam of the button of like the actual denim is so small that the button just won't even fit which is really quite annoying because I can't do this up it literally just won't even fit through so these dungarees cost me 16 pounds if I remember correctly and the top is actually just like a little ribbed white crop top which is I think six pounds this is literally so painful my thumb hurts okay Whew. This is very snug. I'm not gonna lie, these dungarees are kind of giving me a little bit of a wedgie, but we're just gonna, it can, oh. oh, no way. Oh my God, this little thing that holds this like metal part together has just popped off. What the heck? And now it won't even hold the button in place. It just comes straight off like that. That is literally so annoying because these dungarees are so cute. I'm gonna have to send this back, unfortunately, because I literally can't even fix it. And it's such a shame because I really like these dungarees and they actually fit me quite well, apart from the fact that I'm getting a wedgie. Also, before we go any further, I just wanna clarify that I actually just realized that I'm missing some pieces from she inside and I feel like they're probably gonna come right after I film this video, which is so annoying. I think they probably shipped it out in 
a separate parcel, but I'll still link the things that I picked up from She Inside that haven't arrived in the description in case you guys want to check it out. This is the next outfit and I am actually living for this top. I love the color. I think it's so like summery and it's just such nice quality. I really, really like it. It's very like breathable. Now this top only cost me 13 pounds, which I feel like is such a good price for a top like of this quality. And the shorts cost me 10 pounds. I honestly don't really know how I feel about the shorts. I feel like they kind of look like I'm wearing a nappy a little bit. Do you guys see what I'm saying? I really liked how they looked on the hanger, but now that I'm wearing them, I'm not so sure if I actually like them. They're definitely very like oversized, kind of like mom jeans or boyfriend jeans sort of style. Perhaps I should have gotten a smaller size to make it a little bit more fitted to my body, but I feel like they just look a little bit too big on me. What do you guys think? However, the outfit is not a complete disaster. I am loving the top and the shorts. They're okay, they're not the best, but I still quite like them, so I'm gonna give them a thumbs up. Now this next item that I have, is quite an interesting little piece because basically it has a little like crop top which is just plain white but then it also has this flannel shirt that is meant to kind of go over like so. This looked quite cute online so that is why I picked it up but let's go try it on and see how it looks. So this is what it looks like on. Honestly I actually quite like it. I think it looks quite cute. I do feel like this is something you could definitely see in like pretty little thing or something but yeah I feel like it's quite a nice fit like for once the sleeves aren't too long for me. It's actually some surprisingly really good quality because it only cost me £10 so that's quite a bargain for a top like this. I kind of tied it up a little bit but this is what it looks like when it's untied. It kind of just doesn't really sit properly so I feel like when you tie it up it looks a lot better. So yeah I'm gonna give this one a thumbs up because I feel like it looks quite cute. The next two bits I'm gonna try are some denim pieces. Now you guys know from my previous video that I am obsessed with denim at the moment so when I saw this I just needed it. So the jeans are kind of like a boyfriend sort of style and they have like little pearls all over them which is kind of what attracted me to them and the jacket is pretty much the same it has lots of like little pearls and little beads on it which is just the cutest so let's try it on and see how it looks so this is the outfit and what it looks like on I kind of am obsessed with it I'm not gonna lie the jacket I feel like is a little bit much like it's kind of long which I don't really like denim jackets when they're long I definitely like them a little bit more cropped but I do really like the detail I think it's very very pretty the quality is quite nice too and I also just paired it with this little top that I also got from she in this part of the crop top here is very nicely fitted which i definitely really appreciate and as for the jeans i absolutely love the pearl detail i think it's such a quirky little design and i feel like it definitely adds a little bit more to like your regular pair of jeans so the jacket was 25 pounds the jeans were 14 pounds i believe and the top was like five or so pounds so again this outfit is so affordable like i love how affordable everything is on this website so far but yes this is the outfit it's a little bit daring because it's like denim on denim i have to say i'm not really feeling the jacket too much so I'm gonna give that one a thumbs down but as for everything else I feel like it looks really cute. The next thing I'm gonna try out is this little jumper and oh my god I love this so much. I've seen this jumper advertised everywhere and obviously this is like one of their main best sellers on she inside so I really wanted to give this a go and try it on. So this cost me roughly 11 pounds which is so affordable for a jumper like this. It's very nice and like high neck. I am kind of loving this jumper. Honestly I really like the pattern. I think it's so pretty it's such a wearable color too and it's very like interesting the only thing I have to say is that the sleeves are a little bit too short I would have much rather preferred if they were like this sort of length but I mean it's not the end of the world but I mean if you roll up the sleeves and kind of make it look like they were supposed to be a little bit shorter I'm sure you could get away with it even if you tuck it in a little bit I think it just looks really cute and relaxed and I am actually really really loving the quality so I'm gonna give this one a thumbs up the next item is this little jacket which I absolutely love the color of. It's so, so cute. It might not go the best with this outfit, but let's ignore that. So this cost me 13 pounds. And the reason why I really liked it is because it says, I'm not weird, I'm limited edition on the back. I don't know if you guys will be able to see that. I mainly picked up this jacket because I really like the fact that it's cropped and it just looks like it's fitted super well to high-waisted jeans such as these. I don't really have anything bad to say about it, so I'm gonna give this one a thumbs up. I think it's really cute. Okay, so these are the next item I'm gonna be trying on. So this is essentially the black version of the top that I'm currently wearing, which I already really like, so we're gonna see how I get along with this. And to go with the crop top, I have have this camo skirt which if you guys don't know what a skirt is it's basically shorts and a skirt in one and it has like this really nice lace up design on the left hand side but I have to say this looks kind of small so I don't know if it's gonna fit me but let's try it on and see so this is what the outfit looks like on I have to admit this skirt was kind of a struggle to pull over my hips but once it's on it actually fits quite well 
well. The black version of the top that I was previously wearing is actually quite nice. The only thing I have to say, it's not as tight fitting around this sort of area. So if you wanted to wear this without a bra, I don't think you could because it's not very supportive, but it's still really, really nice. So the top was five pounds and the skort was eight pounds, I think. I would definitely recommend these two pieces because they're so affordable and I feel like you can't really go wrong with them. And I love the fact that this is actually shorts underneath a skirt because a lot of the time I end up not wearing skirts because I'm too scared that they will like fly up or that I'm quite restricted to my movement. But with this, I feel really secure and I know for a fact that I'm not gonna have my bum out and flash people. So yeah, I give both of these items a big thumbs up. Now the next item is this pair of like yoga slash jogger pants. When I saw this, I thought to myself, this definitely is not the most fashionable thing I've ever seen. But I really wanted to try these because I felt like it would be really comfortable. Okay, so these are probably the biggest no-no out of this whole haul. <laughs> so first of all, you can see my underwear, which I know I could probably wear higher underwear. That's fine. But I just feel like the slit is just too much. Like, literally, I'll lift my leg up and you can almost see my bum. I mean, I kind of get where they were going with this, but... Come on, like, what is that? But yeah, although they're very, like, roomy, I just feel like I'm gonna have to give them a pass. So this is the next item. It's another pair of joggers. Now, I have to say, when I saw these on the website, they looked quite cool. I feel like they were quite interesting because they're definitely really different from any joggers I have seen out there because, I don't know if you guys can see on camera, but they have like a mesh sort of effect to them. They're like almost see-through, but it's just like the whole thing is made out of mesh apart from this little thing here. I feel like they would have been really, really cool if the whole thing was mesh and then you had maybe like, I don't know, not shorts, but maybe like a bikini sort of style underneath, but the shorts just look a little bit weird. And I totally get that you have to have something to, you know, cover your underwear. You definitely don't want your underwear on show, but I feel like they could have made like a nicer thing to go underneath these to make them look a little bit better. They actually look quite nice though. I really like them from the bottom half down because they're very interesting and I feel like they would have looked really nice with like a nice pair of trainers. But I'm not really digging this half right here because I feel like it just doesn't really look that good. So these cost me about £11. I feel like that's a really good price for joggers and I mean essentially you're paying for the netting so I would be kind of surprised if it was a lot more than what I paid for. The next outfit I have is a little bit more dressy, a little bit more appropriate appropriate for going out. So the first thing is this little top right here, which I absolutely love these colors. It's definitely not something I would usually reach for, but I really liked it. And then I just got a pair of these high-waisted black, like, buttoned trousers to go along with them. So this is the next outfit. I actually really like this. I mean, I love how it looks from afar. Like, I love the top, love the colors. I feel like it's such a dressy outfit. I have to say with these two things in particular, the quality isn't really that great. We did only pay nine pounds for the top and around 11 pounds for the bottom. I really love the top, but I just feel like it's very lightweight and like the fabric just feels a bit like itchy and scratchy on my skin. Another thing that kind of ruins it for me is this little button right here. It's just so unnecessary and you can kind of see it, which just doesn't really look that great. I'm actually quite disappointed because I really love this top. I love the trousers as well. I feel like they fit so nicely and I mean, yeah, overall the outfit from afar looks great, but when you look up close, it's just not the best quality. The next outfit is a little bit more casual, a little bit more wearable for every day. So I just have a pair of ripped jeans and this little jumper right here. So let's go put it on. So this is the next outfit. I feel like it doesn't actually go as well together as I thought it did when I was buying it online. So let's just ignore that and judge them separately. I honestly love this jumper. It feels so soft. And the sleeves are like slightly bell sleeves, which isn't too much. Like I'm not really a fan of bell sleeves, but this is like the perfect amount. And the jeans fit so nicely. They look really, really good. They fit really well. The rips, I mean, they're kind of a bit too much for me. That's just a personal preference, but they definitely looked as they did in the photo. So that's good. So both of these items are really great quality. I would definitely recommend them. And I love this little like detail on the side of this jumper. I think it's really cool. And the very last item I have to try out is this jumper right here you guys might recognize it because it's literally been everywhere this is the one item that she in promote literally anywhere they can and i really love the like zipper effect on the actual sleeve which is really really cool so this is what the jumper looks like on i've honestly been eyeing up this jumper for like a year like i've seen this so many times on social media and i never really got around to picking it up although i really liked it in the picture this jumper was a tiny bit pricier it was 17 pounds which is probably one of the most expensive things i actually ordered from this haul but i really feel like it's kind of worth it i haven't really seen too 
too many jumpers like this on the high street with like little zippers on the sleeves. So yeah, I'm gonna give this jumper a big thumbs up as well. So that was everything I have bought from She Inside. I honestly, I'm very surprised at everything. I feel like the quality has definitely improved a lot since I first kind of got to know She Inside back when I started my channel. There was definitely some hit and miss pieces with this haul, but I feel like overall I kind of liked most of the pieces. Everything is so affordable on this website as well, which is another reason why I really liked it and really wanted to test everything out. Let me know what you guys thought of these clothing pieces. I'll have all the links down below in case you want to try out any of them for yourself. Also, be sure to let me know what other website you would like me to try out next. I feel like I kind of want to do Romwe and then maybe like Zaffle or something. So do let me know in the comments what you would like to see next. But that is all from me. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye! Mwah.